Hello, 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 hello. Ray Reese, Reese's Masterpieces, here at CKO Kickboxing in Westchester. Uh, I'm out here today because um, I'm subbing, I was subbing a class, and I can't stress enough how fortunate and how thankful and how blessed I am to be able to have these opportunities. Um, like I was teaching my regular two cardio kickboxing courses out in uh, Crum Lynn, and then I was able to make my way over here uh, to sub here. Now normally, when I'm doing these videos, um, these tutorials or what have you, I'm on the center instructor bag. However, we apparently had too much fun today and that bag uh, came, came a crashing down. Um, but nonetheless, I'll be over here using the, the regular bag, but we still had a lot more fun with that bag when it came down. Um, Cause if you saw my video on the uh, Friday Night Fight Club at South Philly, um, you'll know that we had exercises with, you know, flipping the bag, ground and pound, uh, stomping, um, and jumping over and whatnot. So we were still able to have fun. All right. So today we're going to go over a basic kick tutorial. This isn't going to be super in depth, but it's going to be sort of a review of the four basic kicks that we have in fitness kickboxing as pertains to um, a contact class. So you may be in any other type of class, maybe, um, one of the tempo-based cardio kickboxing classes like I teach elsewhere, that you're just punching and kicking out into space and you may have many more techniques that you would do. Um, however, here, for safety purposes, we only have three or four types of uh, kicks that we're able to do. Um, so they fall into like three different categories. You have like your strike, you have a snap kick and you have a thrust kick, okay? Your strike for our kicking purposes is really just the knee. We have a knee strike, right? We have a side snap kick known as a roundhouse. We also have a side thrust kick, okay? Now, we also have a front thrust kick Okay, those are the four techniques, the four main ones. You may have instructors that are able to teach other ones accordingly. Um, and that being said, you know, regardless of what class you're in, whether it's CKO or elsewhere, be mindful of your present instructor's directions and instructions accordingly. There may be subtle differences. We have different backgrounds, so on and so forth but make sure that you are listening, watching, and just overall paying attention on what they're asking you to do. Um, this video is meant to be sort of a basic guide to help you be safe and productive in class. All right, so we have our knee strike, okay? Now, a lot of people think, okay, if I'm striking with the knee, uh, I'm putting my knee into the bag. I'm just gonna, uh, which isn't the case. That may work um, on a person, sort of, but if we're trying to kick to the bag, our, our hip flexors here and our quads, which are pulling the knee up, the, the, the force is going upwards, right? So I'm not really able to uh, kick here because my knee would just slide up. So what happens is a lot of people tend to push their knee into the bag with their body weight. And so we don't wanna do a knee push, we wanna do a knee strike. The way we do that, you may have to come on the side here, right? All right, I'll get my arm out the way. Pow, right? But however, you probably want to hold the bag, you wanna stabilize, knee strike, right? Knee strike bringing it, leaning a bit, taking it up into the ribs. Now, 
Another version of a knee strike is you, using more so the inner part of the, the leg, uh, the fleshy part here, um, and the side of the knee. We don't want to put a whole lot of pressure on our kneecap. That's another reason why we're not trying to shoot our knee into the back. Um, but there's a sort of a Muay Thai and Thai boxing variation where the knee comes up and over. So, pow, right? I'll try to bring it to the side here. The knee comes up and in, right? Now you can stabilize it um, or you can do it out in space like I did. Uh, either way, this one, that version can, can sting a bit. So be mindful, you know, if you're new, you don't wanna just go rushing in and, you know, giving it all you got because some guy on, on the YouTube said, oh, this is how you do it. You know, you wanna be mindful. You wanna take your time, you know, uh, increase and improve incrementally, okay? So moving on to our side snap kick or our roundhouse. Now, first things first, this kick can be thrown from the front leg or the lead leg, or it can be thrown from the rear leg, right? I'm gonna show you from the front leg, um, and I'll give you some tips on how to throw it from the rear leg, but um, there's four parts to this kick. Uh, most kicks there are, it's up, out, in, down. Right? You want to kick with the laces, all right? Now, if you're like me and you don't have the same flexibility you did when you, know, when you were in eighth grade, um, you may have to lean a bit more, right? In order to get that leg to at least hip height. That being said, if you're still learning, it's okay to go low. No shame in that, still burning calories. Now, the other thing is, so if this is your lead leg, this is the kicking leg, this is your plant leg. That plant leg needs to turn out. If you leave it like this, then uh, you're gonna put a lot of pressure on your knees and your ankles and possibly your hips that you don't want. So you wanna turn that foot out, lean a little bit, hit with the laces, all right? Now, if you're kicking off the rear leg, now I don't do this a lot, but if you are, you have to understand that this, the front leg, is going to become the plant leg. And this is gonna be the kicking leg. So you have to turn that plant leg out and come around, okay? Now, depending on your level of flexibility, some people are able to just, you know, just take it over. If you see an MMA, they just really swing that kick around and there's not as much of a snap as there is a swing like a bat, okay, eh, no sweat. Depends on the instructor. Um, I generally don't do that in my classes, but your instructor may do that. Either way, you want to be able to turn those hips out, have your plant foot turned out, swing that leg around, all right? Or, you know, if you're doing, say, a switching drill um, where you're alternating legs, maybe you pivot out, do your snap, Put it down, step back, pivot, right? But it depends on the instructor. All right, so now we have our thrust kicks. Our thrust kick, we just said that there's four parts to a kick, up, out, in, down. Basically you're chambering or cocking that leg. That was for the roundhouse. For your side kick or for any thrust kick, you're bringing that knee above the waist. Okay, bringing that knee above the waist and then you're gonna shoot the leg out towards your target. So for my side kick, knee towards my opposite shoulder, pow, kicking through. Or you know, think about turning your back pocket towards your opponent, knee up, and then shooting that leg out there. Same thing for your front thrust kick, knee up, it goes above the waist, your foot does not. Knee goes up, foot goes out, like you're kicking open a door, all right? Um, similarly, you can come off the rear leg. Now, what you're kicking with, you're kicking with 
the balls of your foot, all right? Kicking with the ball of the foot, not the heel. If you put your heel on this bag, you run the risk of falling through the bag. You don't want that. You run the risk of hyper extending that knee. And it's, it's the same thing with the, the upright bags that rock, um, but it's even more so with this. So you wanna make sure that you're kicking through, straight through, um, also not kicking up. Because if you, even if you kick with the ball of the foot and you're too high, your legs gonna wanna come down like so. You don't want that. So you should be kicking basically hip height. Knee higher than the hip, foot, hip height. All right? So each time, you and you've got to re-chamber it each time. So knee, pow, knee, boom. As opposed to, right? You want to just drop it. You want to have control so that you can move on to other things. Um, so, yeah, those are your four basic kicks or strikes. You have your knee, you have your roundhouse, you have your side thrust kick, and you have your front thrust kick. Um, if you have any questions about any techniques, really, um, feel free to drop a line um, below, or you can direct message me. Um, either way, I hope to see you at CKO Kickboxing either in South Philly or Westchester or out and about uh, pursuing your fitness goals, all right? So thank you very much. Ray Reese, Reese's Masterpieces. Take care, bye-bye.